Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I've got this tablet. I just bought it for under £40 or about $50. It's the AutoCube iPlay 8. It's an Android tablet based on Android 6.0. I'm going to give you a quick review and tell you guys if it's actually worth buying because it's so cheap and I wanted to see if it lived up to its price. So let's have a look. Right, so this is the Aldo Cube iPlay 8 Android tablet. It has a 7.8 inch screen with a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor. It comes with one gigabytes of RAM with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. You can, however, insert a micro SD card with expandable storage of up to 128 gigabytes. It also has an impressive 3,500 milliamp hour battery life that gives you seven hours of audio playback, four hours of video playback, and three hours of browsing the internet. In terms of video playback, I opened the YouTube app and have to say, it didn't lag in any way. It was pretty smooth and played pretty quickly, just as I expected in today's high-end smartphones. Here's me playing back a video from my own YouTube channel, and it was a pretty seamless experience in my opinion. Now just looking at the design of the tablet, you can see it fits pretty comfortably in one hand, so it's definitely compact enough to take away with you pretty much anywhere. On the left hand side, we have the expandable TF card slot where you can insert a mini SD card of up to 128GB of storage. On the top, you have the headphone jack, the micro USB charging port, and also an HDMI output port if you wanted to display your tablet on a monitor or a TV. And finally, on the right hand side, you have the power button and the volume buttons. It does however have the branding of the tablet in Chinese on the back of the tablet. Too. Now moving on to the camera, it has a rear facing 2 megapixel camera and a front facing 0.3 megapixel camera. Here you can see the rear camera is still a bit laggy, it's very grainy and when you view the image it's not the greatest of quality and it's not high resolution but then again it's not the worst I've seen either. On the front facing camera it's pretty much VGA standard which you'll probably remember was the quality in the early days of smartphones so I probably wouldn't use that for any video chats anytime soon. Now, for testing the gaming capability, I downloaded a couple of popular high-end games to really test it. So the first one I'm opening is Subway Surfers, and you can see it took a few seconds before opening the app after clicking the icon, but I wouldn't expect anything less to be honest. But when playing it back, I was actually quite surprised. It was pretty smooth and it didn't lag. The tablet does come with a Mali T720 GPU, which actually does a great job in handling the gaming on this tablet. The next game I opened up was CSR2, an even higher end graphic consuming racing app to really test the capability of this tablet. Now let's see how long it takes for the game to start after loading. If you counted, that was approximately 50 seconds from the time I clicked to open the app and the intro video to start when playing the game. Which is a pretty long time, but then I wanted to see if the actual gameplay was affected in any way too. So here I am playing the intro drag race and I have to admit, again it did pretty well and didn't lag at all. So I was surprisingly impressed at its ability to handle games of this level. In conclusion, I think if you are looking for a compact tablet perhaps for your kids to play on or to watch videos whilst travelling, checking emails and browsing websites, it does a great job and is well worth the price. It is however on Android 6.0 whilst the market is currently on 8.1 and I do hope that there would be OS updates pushed to this device in the future but I would assume it's unlikely that would be the case. So there you have it guys, so I hope that gave you a good overview. For me personally, I think it is actually worth the price. I know the camera isn't great on there. It's very budget quality, but I think overall, if you want to use it for traveling, watching maybe movies on an SD card or playing some games, maybe in long car journeys, I think it's actually worth it. So I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy it. They do international shipping. They've got very good rates running right now. So do check them out. And if you have any questions about the tablet, then please do drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you subscribe and like the video and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.